Hey everyone, Granitor here again. This time with the uh, finals of the Flash tournament that um, Xanthippus uh, put on. And today we've got uh, in the finals Xanthippus um, and Swordsmith. So Swordsmith brings the Adritians and uh, Xanthippus uh, brings the Gete. So very uh, evenly matched in terms of uh, troop strength. So it'll be down to the players in this one, and we'll see who wins. Um, so I'll go the um, the get a build first. Got the bow horseman, three of them. Then three skirmishes. Got the Dacian heavy bowmen, heavy skirmishes, Dacian bowmen there. Then for his uh, infantry, he's got the noble sword general. He's got uh, battle rhythm, second wind as gen skill. Then he's got some. Uh, more naval swords all through the middle here. Out the front he's got the spears, spear warriors, spear warriors. So he's got one spear unit over there. Then for his cav contingent he's got the uh, spear horsemen. And that's it, three of them. So, uh, four of them, sorry. So uh, for additions. With Swordsmith, we've got uh, Thracian Royal Cav General with uh, Battle Rhythm, Second Wind, Gen Skill. And then we've got uh, Freeze Cav Contingent, he's got the Thracian Cav, Thracian Horseman, some more Royal Cav there, some more Royal Cav, and some Thracian Horsemen. So he's got a uh, very strong Cav Contingent with the three Royal Cav there. And for his uh, infantry, he's got Thracian Warriors out the back. There's a couple of upgrades as well on the right flank. Then Skirmish, he's got the Thracian Peltas, just two of them. And uh, some veteran hoplites and mercenary hoplites. Two veterans, one mercenary. And he's got some uh, Thracian slingers there as well. So battle gets underway on this flank here. The uh, bow horsemen are going to do a harass and roll on this flank and going to go quite good at it against the Thracian Cav draw them out of position and then lay down some uh, good volleys there as long as they keep chasing they'll just end up getting uh, picked apart there although they are getting a few shots off but you can see them uh, going down quite quickly but they can chase them off and uh, get them away from the battle while it starts here They're getting a bit closer now so but as you can see they're leaving a lot of men behind Still getting a few volleys off. He's decided to uh, call that attack off. Cops one more volley for his troubles. So loses half the unit there. On this side will be a bit better because the Thracian Cav just chasing against one bow horseman. Comes in for a nice charge here with the Thracian horseman. On the side of the Spear Warriors, uh, won't do too much and they're going to cop a lot of precursors here as you can see them ticking down quite quickly there. The uh, Thracian Cav has caught the Bow Horseman over here but it's going to get hit by the Spear Horseman. The uh, Thracian Royal Cav doesn't want to get uh, too many volleys on it there. Looks like Swordsmith coming in now for the charge. The good old one too. Hits him with the Thracian Horseman and then comes in with the Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. Now they will do, do uh, okay against the uh, Noble Swords, but uh, you'll find over time they will get a bit hurt. Hits Hoplite Wall as quick as possible. It's a good move. Shield Ball as well. So both players on the ball here. This Mercenary Hoplite will get a uh, very hurt there so the charge gets off on the Thracian uh, with the Thracian warriors onto the noble swords which is good gets a nice charge off and uh, backed up by the veterans there these Thracian warriors got a lot of precursors on them and uh, melted straight away but did do a few kills but not many Royal Cav coming in now for a charge Royal Cav general in the middle getting these spear warriors down quite quickly 
But you can see uh, Xanthropus has brought a lot of spears to counteract the uh, strong cav contingent there, so it's going to go well there. The general is now getting hit by the uh, spear horseman. So you can see the mercenary veteran are getting down the noble swords, but the, the focus fire from the Thracian Peltas on the noble swords is absolutely lethal here. Zoom in and have a little look at how much damage it is doing. So you can see him getting smacked now. Thracian warriors come in. So the general's gone for uh, Gete now. Uh, Thracian Royal Cav ends up getting out of there, which is pretty good. These uh, Peltas are about to get hit by some uh, spear horsemen by the looks of it. I think they've uh, expended all their ammo at this stage. Very good choice against the Noble Swords. They're just absolutely doing heaps of damage. Combined with the uh, Thracian Slingers. Just picking out targets and uh, unleashing hell. So Noble Swords get hit by the General over here. The Thracian Royal Cav. Who's done a great job. Got 62 kills. But we'll have a look at the kills on these. Huh? Thracian Peltast. Up to 80 now. And still going. So the uh, Peltast have been used very well in this game against the Noble Swords. So out the back, the Thracian Warriors now getting picked apart by the uh, Bow Horsemen. One of these uh, Thracian Cav in the background has been forgotten about by the looks of it. It uh, could have been handy right about now getting this uh, Bow Horseman off the field. So the Thracian Royal Cav now coming through to get the skirmishes. It's a good target, nice and juicy for him. And if you can lock up them without getting shot by this bow horseman, that'll be good for him. Looks like a lot of uh, Adrishians starting to waver now. And these uh, Thracian Royal Cav have to break off that engagement to try and get away from their bow horseman. Spear horseman coming in for the uh, Thracian Slingers now. Gets hurt by the uh, Thracian horsemen, but they can still continue through. The general comes to try and relieve the slingers, but um, I think the damage has been done here. Adrishian now just has a skirmish on the field, and these uh, bow horsemen can come and pick them off as well now. You can see the Thracian Cav's been uh, spotted over the back, so he's bringing that in now. But yeah, I think the um, the battle's over by the looks of this. So we'll put him out of his miseries and uh, fast forward here. So I'll do um, both battles in, in one session here. So I don't know if this was game one or game two, I just uh, didn't know which order they come in. But uh, it doesn't really matter. So very good play by both players here. The Adrishians um, used the Peltast excellently, but um, had a few too many Cav on the field. I think the uh, the Gete Xanthropus had um, a lot of Spear Warriors counteracted the uh, Cav pretty good there. So that is GG. So one game to a uh, Xanthropus. Just running away with the skirmishes now. There's <laughs> not much chance of uh, pulling out a miracle victory now. Thracian Peltast uh, still in there. A lot of kills, 217, so they've done great work in this battle. Good game by both players. That was uh, very entertaining there. As you can see, the Thracian Peltast with a perfect pick for him. But, um, yeah, he kind of needed... I don't know, instead of maybe take out them Royal Cav and, and get some um, Noble Swords there or something like that. But yeah, 
can get a player had a um, perfect build to counter it. Also, his Dacian heavy skirmish has uh, done a bit of work there too. But the general did get uh, ganged up on. But you can see this noble sword more than made up for the for the uh, general dying 333 kills. So very good. The cav did go okay for additions over here. Yeah, but um, you can see a couple of them four kills. Didn't quite get the kills they wanted for the Royal Cav Eva 60 here. The General done okay. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, go into game two and we'll see uh, RDI versus Webby. So Xanthropus uh, with the RDI here. You can see the builds. Very solid build there. And uh, Swebby's always pretty good with a few Wadeners, a couple of Nobles there, um, Swordmaster, sorry, and a couple of Berserkers. So he decides to bring the Peltast again. Them, uh, their Peltasts for them are, are great actually, they're a good choice, so yeah, the Mercenary Peltast with an upgrade as well on one of them. So yeah, we've seen the builds, but I'll quickly go through them. Just the nobles out the front. Then we've got the uh, Axemen along the second line. And the Thurial Spears on the flank there to get some good flanking shots in. Two Peltas, as we've seen. Leering Cav. And some Spearmen there. And for his gen skill, he's got the uh, Battle Rhythm, Second Wind. And... Uh, for Swordsmith over here, he's got the Germanic Scout Riders, two on either side, perfect pick, they're uh, one of the best skirmish cav, some Spear Levy, some Wadena Spears as we've seen, Berserkers, Wadena Spears, another Wadena Spear General, with the uh, Battle Rhythm Second Wind, okay, hasn't got the fast charge skill, interesting. Then we've got the Berserkers out the back. Perfect spot for the Berserkers behind the two Odinaz on the flank there. So they can't get charged by Cav. Playing very smart. And in the middle line he's got the Spear Levy out the front. He's got the Germanic Slingers. Some Sword Masters. Some more Germanic Scouts in the back. So he's got five of them. So going very heavy on them. He's going to rely on them heaps I'd say. Don't know how this middle's going to go with the... Um, only the two sword masters really there. You could use one of these cabs to bust straight through the spear levy and get into the Germanic Slingers right now if he was quick. That's what I'd do. I'd charge him in, bang, straight into the Germanic Slingers and then uh, mix up the line. Go in for the attack. So the uh, Swebby is going for the wide flanking force here. Spear Levy out front, Leary Nobles, they're going to die in about uh, two seconds. So he's switched out the Leary Nobles for the uh, Axe Warriors. And you can see how quick they're going to tick down and die. Spear Levy and Wodenaz over here. Don't know how the Wodenaz is going to go. Putting that kind of engagement two on one there. It's going to hurt him quite well. So this middle now is uh, pretty exposed. You can uh, bring a cav straight through or, or even bring this general through. So He's outnumbered. He needs to uh, get this flank and force into, into play quite quickly here. He's going to get some shots off in the general. Focus fire. All three slingers onto the general. And you can see he's ticking down really quick. So... Uh, that's a good move. But here comes the uh, Leering Cav now, in to stop one of the Slingers at least. But you can see the General is absolutely getting thumped here. He's got the Germanic Scout Riders and two Slingers now onto him. And that's going to uh, really hurt him. Heaps. Also got the Sword Masters blocking him there as well. They've come back over here. Oof. Jeez, that General. He is gone off the field already by the looks of it. Yeah, that's going to be uh, 
very deadly if the uh, general goes off the field for RDI because um, a couple of their troops do have weak morale, like the Illyrian Theros. You can already see him going to orange morale after the general died. So how do you always uh, struggle in here? The Wade and Spear General has uh, lost a few men, but he's um, still beating the Axe Warriors pretty handily there. So it looks like RDI might have this uh, right flank over here. But this left flank uh, of RDI is definitely feeling the pinch. But it could just come down to the RDI having a few too many men on the field even though they've lost the general. They have a lot of uh, men on the field. His mercenary Peltas, we'll see how they've gone. 48 kills so far. And uh, 9 for that one, so it hasn't even fired any volleys, so it's going to um, take its toll towards the end of the game. So, yes, this is um, pretty dangerous over here. Leering Cave, nearly at full strength, going to chase down these skirmishes. He's doing a good thing by splitting them, so he can only get hold of one at a time. And I'd say he's going to turn and focus fire onto, onto that Illyrian Cav or come in and relieve uh, his skirmishes with the Germanic Scout Riders. So Swebby hasn't got much on the field at all now. And so the Berserkers are still here. They've done a good job in this battle. They've gone Berserk by this stage. His Swordmasters are going okay. But it's just going to come down to, um, to numbers here. I think the yeah, RDI have uh, a few too many on the field. Berserkers are now just going to run after out units. I don't really like bringing them myself in case this happens. They can um, just run off after out units. And you've practically lost this unit for the rest of the battle. Woden our Spear General getting into the mix now. He's got 55 vital kills, but um, yeah, you'd want it to get more than that really. So it comes down to numbers at this stage. The uh, RDI have just too much on the field at, at the moment. And with these Berserkers, uh, they've finally come back now from going Berserk. Now I can use them again. But uh, that was valuable time wasted with them running around out, out here. They could have uh, come in and done a bit of hurt. But I think the battle was over anyway by then. A funny kind of unit. They're, they're good, but uh, you, like I said, you can just they can just be wasted in a battle. And now 72 of them are going to out. They've got a fair few kills, but 107. Still want them to make uh, more of an impact than that. You sit the frenzy and the headhunt, try and keep them into the battle. Then definitely going to come in and uh, keep fighting here for a while. <laughs> good old berserkers. Going for a bit of a close up, watch them do their work. Could do some good killing, that's for sure. Especially if a uh, headhunt and frenzy hit. So the headhunt's going to keep them in for a while. This rear charge may finish them off, and there they go. Oh, they've gone berserk again, so I'll stay in there to the last man. Oof, getting some Peltar shots on them now. Still fighting. <laughs> like watching him. Oh, that dude had a Peltas for the neck. There we go. Anything that's going to kill him at this stage is a Peltas. Three men left. Still doing some good killing. Two men left. <laughs> and that's the last berserker dead. There he is there, poor fella. Bit of a legend. 
<laughs> so that was pretty cool. Good battle and uh, well played Xanthemus who um, brings out the victory and wins the finals. So he's played well all through the finals and so has Swordsmith, done very well. And um, congratulations to him to get to the finals. And we'll have a look at the kills on the troops here. The Illyrian Noble General absolutely got pummeled by the uh, Focus Fire, which uh, Swordsmith done a very good job of doing in both battles. And the Nobles, you can see him taking out um, some good kills there as well. Illyrian Thuros, always a good pick. You can get some really good kills. The Mercenary Axes, uh, great for backing up the uh, Noble Hoplites. And these two Mercenary Peltars are uh, doing a good job too. And this Cav, mopping up the Skirmish, done a great job. For Swabby, the Woden and Spears, done okay there. This one, 258 kills, done excellent. And then um, you've got the uh, Swordmaster here, doing great. <laughs> Identical kills. That's pretty cool. We haven't seen that for a while. 65 for this Berserker and 233 for this one. Doing excellent. Doing a great job there. Uh, Spear Levies. Doing okay. The Slingers getting a few kills. And uh, Germanic Scout Riders. 140 for this one. Excellent job. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, congratulations to Exanthropus. And uh, thank you very much for putting on a good tournament. It's uh, good to see a few Flash tournaments um, go, going on lately. So, yes, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the battle, and I'll talk to you soon.